Advanced Micro Devices was up about 61% this year, but AMD is in a tough position competing with Intel. Last month, analysts expected Intel to undersupply its 10 nanometer chip. AMD would be expected to benefit. However, analysts from New Street Research expects AMD shares to tumble by 30%. Let's take a look. AMD is in a tough position competing with Intel, and shares will finally be dragged down due to comparative disadvantages in this competition with Intel, and that is according to New Street Research. AMD's stock price reflects a scenario we don't believe possible, said Pierre Farragou, an analyst at New Street Research, in a note sent out to clients on Friday. He sees shares tumbling by 30%, from almost $27 per share to $18 per share. By Farragou's calculation, AMD's current share price should be equivalent to a buck fifty per share earnings in 2020. And to achieve that, the chip maker should sell at least $2.5 billion of server CPUs and $3.2 billion worth of PC CPUs, which in Farragut's eyes is impossible, especially when AMD is competing with Intel in the processor area. Intel can easily bring to market an architecture similar to AMD's with better performance, said Farago. He estimates that AMD's 2020 profit to be about 84 cents per share. AMD shares have been boosted by Intel's 10 nanometer chip delay. Last month, shares of AMD rallied after analysts predicted that Intel would undersupply its 10 nanometer chips by 15%, benefiting AMD in the server and PC market. And while the rating agency Moody's recently upgraded AMD, saying it has sped up sampling 7 nanometer server processors, which in theory provide better performance than 10 nanometer ones, Farago believes the 7 nanometer chips won't be a game changer. He added that back in 2014, Intel delayed its 14 nanometer chip deployment, but neither its PC CPU or server CPU revenue had largely been impacted, and millennial investors are dumping AMD from their portfolios on Robinhood, which is a no-fee trading app popular among young traders. Over the past three weeks, AMD saw the biggest decline in the number of investors, with a net drop of 13,677 investors, or a drop of about 8.1%. So let's take a quick look at AMD's chart. We're looking at the 20-year monthly chart on advanced micro devices, and the symbol is AMD. For disclosure purposes, I do not hold any shares in AMD. Looking back in history, just here with the price chart, we see the top there in 2000, with the bottom coming in 2002, 2003 a top here in early 2006, and then the bottom in 2009. And just looking at those formations, it, to me, looks very similar to this current formation here. I think we may have seen the top at that point there. We came from under $10 a share in early 2018 to above 30, so that's a triple. I tripled this year up to that point. Now we've come down since then, and I think that actually is going to continue coming down. Let's look at the oscillators. Looking at the MACD, we had a top there, a top here, and I think we're going to be forming a top here someplace uh, relative to that level there. Moving down to the histogram shows much the same. The price rate of change is not all that revealing. But into the RSI, we start to see that we did have a move here in uh, 2016 to 2017. This move here is not as high. That'll be important. We'll get to that uh, in a second. Moving down to the stochastics, we see the same thing here. This move here and then the lower move at that point there. 
and into volume. Volume looks great. It uh, had a very good spike in volume in the last few years, but I think that's going to be its undoing here. Soon enough, we'll show you that. Uh, Williams did have this move here, and then the subsequent move that uh, we had in 2018 to that point there. So why is that important? Going on back up here. This is the move, a much stronger move that only brought us up to about $15 a share. And that subsequent weaker move brought us up to above $30 a share. Because that subsequent move was weaker, I think that it's going to erode and we're going to have a sell-off. I don't know how far we're going to go down, but in my humble opinion, the sell-off has started and I think this uh, price is just going to continue to erode. So in my opinion, I'd stay away from AMD for the uh, current time frame and wait until the fundamentals improve. So for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.